Hi, it's me again, and I stumbled across this headline, and normally I wouldn't bother talking about something like this on this channel, but I recently experienced something different in Spain, and it, it kind of rung a bit true when I read this, read this headline, I thought we could talk about it. Have a look. Huge change coming as yearly MOT tests to be scrapped for drivers. So yeah, as it says here, the government is considering major changes to MOT tests, which I think needs to come. Now, what I experienced recently in Spain was their local MOT test. As I said, I spend a fair bit of time in Spain, Mrs. is Spanish, blah, blah, blah. Um, one of their family members, his car was due for its MOT, or the ITV, as they call it over there. And I said, oh, I wouldn't mind coming along, if you don't mind. I can't say I've ever seen one happen in Spain. So I went along, and the whole system is different. Now, there's not much in Spain that I think is better than England, but the MOT tests are. The problem I have with MOT tests in the UK is unless you really trust the garage, you don't know if you're getting ripped off or not, do you? But you hear all these horror stories, don't you, of people, mostly women, sadly, getting ripped off by MOT stations. They go for an MOT and they say all this stuff is wrong and they think that she doesn't know anything and they end up paying it and she gets ripped off. You hear those stories all the time. Don't you? And I swear it's happened to me. I know enough about cars to get by, but if someone says to me, oh, like your track rod ends knackered or you've got a leaky shock absorber, what can I do about that? So I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. So with garages doing the MOT tests in the UK and the garages also repairing cars, there's an incentive there to fail the odd car, isn't there? But over in Spain, it's better, I think, because the MOT or the ITV stations a government control, government run, they're not independent and they don't do any repairs there. You go in, you get your test, you pass or you fail, and you go home. And it was pretty cool actually, it's pretty cool. If you ever get a chance to experience it, it's very different to the English one. You stay in the car and it's like a production line, there's like loads of bays. The one we went to in Malaga was massive. It's like 15 bays like that. And um, yeah, you, get, you stay in your car and they clip a little walkie-talkie onto the window. Sorry, still getting over my man flu. They clip a little walkie-talkie onto the window and um, they shout at you what to do. So they're in a thing underneath the car and they're poking about and you can hear them and you have to do turning and all that. And it's good. And it takes like 10, 15 minutes and you know if you passed or fail, pretty much right away. We failed. On emissions, there's an old diesel that doesn't get used very much. So a um, bottle of Red X, a bit of Italian service and uh, next day... Next day I passed, I got back in and passed. But I think it's a better way of doing it. So what are they planning to do here for the MOTs? Let's have a look. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps has suggested reducing the need for an MOT renewal to every two years rather than one to cut costs for households. So instead of every year, it's every two years to help us with our cost of living. This sounds like the TV licence all over again, doesn't it? When they held back the, the increase in price for inflation for for a couple of years when it was probably saved us five, 10 quid a year each, brilliant, or per household, brilliant. So this one, was it? The maximum cost for an MOT is 54 quid. Although I've never paid maximum cost, you always get a deal, don't you, if you know your local garage. So instead of doing it every year, you do it every two years, so you save yourself 54 quid a year. Well, the government really, really understand the people, don't they? That's gonna make such a difference to our cost of living, with the cost of fuel going through the sodding roof. You can't even fill a car for 54 quid. You can't, can you? So Jack Cousins, head of road policy at the AA, said drivers would ultimately lose out, especially if they need repairs. Though well intended, moving the yearly 55 quid spend on an MOT to every two years could make costs worse for drivers with higher repair bills, make our roads more dangerous, and would put jobs in the garage industry at risk. Well, I don't think it's going to increase repair costs for drivers, because you can't need repairing whether it needs repairing or not, right? Whether they find it each year, or every two years, it's the same amount of repairs, so that's nonsense. But I say, coming back to Spain again, I know there's not many things in Spain better than England, apart from the cheap beer. I'm not one for the sunshine. But I've got a thing here, so the ITV tests there, if you've got a new car, it doesn't have to be tested for four years, which I think is the same in the UK, doesn't it? But after its first test, it's every two years, and it's only when the car gets to 10 years old it has to be tested every year. I think that's a good way to go about it, you know, don't you? I think that makes sense. And that's odd. Spanish stuff tends not to make a lot of sense. Well, I think that's the way to do it. I think that's the way to do it. 
But the one thing I think will really lower the cost of driving for the British people, Grant Shapps and Jack Cousins, head of road policy at the AA, is to stop MOTs being conducted by places that repair cars. Because there's an incentive to fail. If they come to me and say, you've got a leaky shock absorber, we need to change that. It's going to be 150 quid or something. What am I going to I have to do it? Or I have to take the car to another garage and you get that thing, oh, we can't let you drive it out of here, it's dangerous and all that. You hear all these horror stories. If a garage that does the MOTs also does repairs, there's incentives there to be a bit dodgy and that needs changing. I think that would be the best thing the government could do is nationalise, whatever you want to call it, MOT testing like they've done in Spain. Right? It's a good way to do it. So what do you think about this then? Let me know in the comments below. And do you ever feel like you've been robbed an MOT? You know, and they told you you need repairs and you didn't think you did, but you had to get it through the MOT. We've all heard the stories, haven't we? If you had a bad experience, let me know in the comments below. And if you think the Spanish system is better, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there leaving your comment, if you haven't already, it'd be great if you would consider hitting the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It keeps you up to date with all the new stuff from the channel and helps us all fight the TV license, which is the main thing we do on this channel. Today's just a bit of a detour and a rant about MOTs, mostly because mine's due soon and it's going to cost me a few quid. I just know it is. I just know it is. But yeah, do all that and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.